With Auckland surfing enthusiasts, Piha Beach is deservedly popular. Today they watch a demonstration of life-saving by a surf ski. Like most West Coast beaches, Piha has a good surf, but local pride cannot deny that it's often dangerous. But what does that matter when you have an unsinkable surf ski? It's effective in the heaviest surf, when you get the heaviest surf. Swiftly and easily, the patient is brought back to the beach. This is where the surf ski has it over the line and reel. Rescues are twice as fast and far less exhausting for the rescuers. Also, it cuts out a lot of the life-saving drill. Yes, Piha patrons are proud of their surf ski. They claim to be the only beach in New Zealand to use one. Arriving in Auckland today after a 10-day trip across the Tasman is the vehicular ferry George Peat. This vessel, purchased in Sydney for Auckland's North Shore traffic, made the crossing under her own steam, and her false bow successfully weathered the Tasman storm. The George Pete was brought across by a homecoming New Zealander, Lieutenant Commander Jay Hare, who served with the Royal Australian Navy. He says... Well, the George Pete is here now, and I think and I hope that she will be... she will do as good service here as she did in the Hawkesbury River and for the Australian Army up in the New Guinea area. The Japanese looked after their navy very well. This handsome building on the island of Etejima was formerly a Japanese naval college. Now it's to be occupied by New Zealanders. One battalion of the Kiwi J Force will be quartered here. Across the harbour at the port of Kuri, the advance party of J Force arrives. This party of 40 has come with British and Indian units to line up the accommodation for the British Commonwealth forces. In the party are YWCA canteen workers, two of them New Zealand girls. After five weeks from Italy, it's good to be ashore again. Kuri was never an attractive place and bombing didn't improve it. As the barge moves off for Etejima, the Kiwi see some of the damage done on the waterfront. Japanese street scenes will soon be familiar to lots of New Zealanders. And they may even see a Japanese fire brigade at work. This one was called to put out a hut used by the British Fourth Command at Curie. They have everything except the water. Seems to be honourable mix-up somewhere. Sabotage is not suspected. Jap methods of keeping houses warm are extremely primitive, and their buildings often catch fire. While this lasts, they're at least warm. Second day of the Australian-New Zealand test, and the sun shines brightly on Wellington's Basin Reserve. But for the New Zealand team, prospects are far from bright, after being routed for 42 in their first innings. Australia has three down for 146 as Hassett and Miller go to the crease. The wicket is still damp and crumbling. It's cleverly to Miller. Miller drives him to the on and they go through for three. Today, Cowie is the only bowler who can keep them quiet. Burke, the Auckland spin bowler to McCool, who square cuts him but fails to get it away. At this end, it's Cowie, whose aggressive and accurate bowling is well up to the best international standard. Miller is out, caught by Hadley off Burke. He jumped out to a short one and skied it. Six for 186, and here's the highlight of the morning's play. Cowie to Talon, who skies it, and Scott is after it. He kicks up the turf as he dives, but he holds it. 
Soon after, with a wicket at its worst, Australia closed their innings at 199. Toshak takes up a second attack against New Zealand, bowling to Hadley. Lindwell to Wallace, with New Zealand faring badly, two down for five. O'Reilly takes over from Lindwall to send down the type of bowling that has made him famous. He gets three easy victims. Cleverly pulls Toshak round to the on for a single that brings the total to 43. One more than last time. Though they get a few runs, none of the batsmen are happy against the steady Australian attack. The match is almost over. The first test between Australia and New Zealand to be played since 1928. McRae skies one round to square leg off McCool, but Muriman is there to collect it. And New Zealand is beaten by an innings and 103 runs. For New Zealand players, there were plenty of lessons to learn. Arriving at Ohakia after an all-night flight from Sydney is an Avro York plane bringing to New Zealand Admiral Lord Louis Mountbatten and Lady Louis Mountbatten. The Supreme Allied Commander of the Southeast Asia is here at the invitation of the New Zealand government and is officially welcomed by the Honourable Mr Jones. In the evening, the people of Wellington give Lord Louis and Lady Louis a civic reception in the town hall. There's an enthusiastic crowd inside the hall and a disappointed one outside it, for hundreds have not been able to get in. In replying to speeches of welcome by the Mayor and the Prime Minister, Lord Louis says... Mr. Mayor, Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, I should like to thank you, Mr. Mayor, and you, Mr. Prime Minister, for the very kind things you've said about myself, and particularly about my wife. And I should like to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for the warmth of your reception, which I appreciate most sincerely. I came here before with, went on the staff of the Prince of Wales almost exactly 26 years ago. I remember that during the time we were at Rotorua, we were taught a haka by some of the Maoris. And the funny part is, I haven't thought of it for 26 years, but I tried it over my bath tonight and I remember every word. <laughs> At the government luncheon today, I did what my, I really wanted to come to New Zealand for, and that was, I did my best, as the first outside commander who has come here since the war, to pay a genuine tribute to what all of us in Britain feel about the effort that New Zealand made in this war. As I gave it in great detail, and I know it is broadcast, I won't repeat all of the details here, but I do want to say this that the more I study what New Zealand did in the war, the more I marvel because her head of population, there is no doubt that the greatest war effort was put forward by this country, New Zealand. 